Hi friends, welcome to today's immigration show. What we are going to be talking about is if undocumented children can obtain a green card, even if you entered without a visa, there are opportunities and that's what we're going to go into detail in this video. Hi, my name is Kosha Granchad. I'm an immigration attorney, been practicing for over 20 years. So let's get to it. In recognition of the unique vulnerabilities that children face, Congress enacted a law in 1990 to help undocumented children. This visa category is known as SIJS, also known as Special Immigrant Juvenile Status. So what is SIJS? Special Immigrant Juvenile Status is a legal process that is designed to assist certain undocumented children in the state juvenile system to obtain lawful permanent resident status. By obtaining SIJS, it also allows children to apply for a green card, also known as lawful permanent resident, depending upon your own unique circumstances. Now you might be wondering, how does one qualify for SIJS? The applicant has to be under the age of 21 and be unmarried. You also have to be declared a dependent in a juvenile court in the United States and remain under the court's jurisdiction throughout the SIJS application process. The juvenile court must find that reunification with one or both parents is not possible because there was abuse, neglect, or abandonment, or a similar basis under state law. And the court must also determine that it is not in the child's best interest to return to their country of nationality or last residence. Okay, so you might be thinking that sounds great, but what about the process? How do you apply for this? What's the first step, second step, third step? Let's dive into that. Currently, SIJS applicants have to submit a Form I-360 visa petition accompanied by additional documentation. This includes a juvenile court order outlining specific findings and signed by a judge. You may also be able to apply for lawful permanent residency at the same time or wait till the initial petition is approved before you apply for lawful permanent residency. And also the great part of this is the applicant can also apply for work authorization while the application is pending. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that there can be a lot of requirements to obtain a green card. One of them entering with status into the United States. Well, SIJS applicants don't have to meet those requirements, but if you do have a criminal issue, then it's very important to talk to an immigration lawyer. To apply some of the documents and forms that are needed are the following. Form I-360 petition for special immigrant, evidence of age such as birth certificate, passport, a valid juvenile court order that makes the necessary determinations and is backed by evidence supporting the court's decision. Now, if the applicant is in HHS custody, written consent from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services Office of Refugee Resettlement, and if the applicant has legal representation, Form G-28, that's where the attorney enters in their appearance on your behalf. Now, this is very important. An application must be submitted before your 21st birthday. Since mail delivery or obtaining a court order can delay filing, USCIS also permits in-person submissions at a field office within two weeks before the applicant's 21st birthday. Expedited appointments can also be requested by the applicant's immigration attorney. Now, it's important to note that these policies can change, so you will want to check with your lawyer about whether or not you can file an expedited appointment. This process can be an awesome process and it can also be complicated as well. So having an attorney can help guide you through the complexities. Also, if you need a waiver, it's really important that you have legal representation to overcome the issues that you need a waiver for. I hope this video was helpful. I wanna thank you for taking the time. Make sure you subscribe to continue to get updates. And by watching this video, you're bettering yourself. By bettering yourself, you're bettering your family. And by bettering your family, you're bettering the world. Thank you, bye for now.